when you're running around town, you see these cars with these really massive fart cans on the back of them, and the exhaust is this huge diameter, and you ask yourself, you know, does that little engine really need all that exhaust diameter to really make that big a difference in power? Uh, luckily, we've got a dyno, and, you know, we can actually see does it make a difference. We're going to find out today. We've got a straight through three inch vibrant muffler here, and the great thing about the vibrant muffler is you've got a resonator you can take in and out of here, right? And you would think this resonator is, only, is two and a half inch. That's pretty damn big to begin with. And on a two liter turbo car, is it really gonna make that big a difference? Um, we'll find out. We'll put it on the dyno and find out. So if you look at the first run, we're making 270 horsepower here uh, all the way to red line. We're not making a whole lot of boost. We're running about 13, 14 pounds of boost on the car right now. And this is without the restrictor. Torque's maxing out at uh, 210. So we're not changing anything on the car. We're just changing one variable, and that's that resonator and seeing what the difference is in power that it's going to make. So now we're putting this resonator in place and let's see what big of a difference it makes. It's only two and a half inch. I mean, it should be enough to carry a lot of power. We'll see. So you can see that the clearly there's a difference and it's all the way across the board. I mean, the boost is significantly lower here where we've got the restrictor or resonator uh, and the exhaust. It's pretty much across the board for horsepower and it's relatively across the board for torque also. So, you know, I mean, if it's, if it's got a bigger exhaust, it's probably gonna make more power. The magnitude's what's gonna be different, uh, whether you're dealing with a naturally aspirated car or a turbo car, but obviously on a turbo car, it makes a big difference. And this is with all the exhaust going through the catalytic converter, even though it's three inch and free flowing, all the way through that muffler. What we're gonna do next is understand the effect of whether or not having a cat is a good thing or having a wastegate vented back into the exhaust or straight out to atmosphere is gonna make much more power. It'll be interesting to see what that difference is in power.